Hello, welcome to the Midday News. We are tracking development from the ill-fated helicopter that crashed into the Atlantic near Bonifinima on Thursday in Port Harcourt. Now, President Bola Tinubu has directed an intensified search and rescue, uh, rescue for passengers in a statement issued by the Special Advisor to the President, Information and Strategy, Bio Ononuga. President Tinubu urged military officers involved in the various operations in the zone to join the rescue mission and provide all necessary support to the Nigerian Safety Investigation Bureau, the, Nigerian, uh, the Nigeria Civil Aviation Authority and other relevant agencies. The President also condoled the board and staff of Nigeria National Petroleum Company Limited and the families of all those who were confirmed to have died in the incident. Meanwhile, three persons were confirmed dead in the crash which happened at 11.22 a.m. along the waterways in Port Harcourt when a helicopter operated by the East Wind Aviation took off from Port Harcourt military base to the FPSO Noem's Anton Oil Rig. According to a, a spokesperson for the Ministry of Aviation and Aerospace Development, Odutai Olushei, a total of eight persons were confirmed on board. The NNPC Limited has confirmed the crash helicopter was conveying its uh, staff from Port Harcourt. There is more in this report. On October 24th, news broke of a tragic plane crash in Port Harcourt River State. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Limited, in a statement, had confirmed that the victims were among its staff members. The accident has raised fresh concerns about safer skies in the country despite ongoing efforts to improve regulatory oversight and modernize the sector. This crash adds to the grim history of aviation accidents in the country over the past decade. One of the deadliest accidents was the Dana Air Crash in 2012, which killed 153 passengers when the aircraft went down in Lagos. In 2013, a plane operated by Associated Airlines crashed shortly after takeoff, resulting in 16 fatalities. Helicopter crashes have also marred Nigeria's aviation landscape. In 2015, a Bristol helicopter plunged into the Lagos Lagoon, killing six people. More recently, in 2021, a military aircraft carrying Nigeria's Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atairu crashed in Kaduna, claiming his life and that of 10 other officers. The Aviation Minister Festus Kayamo, in a statement addressing the Port Harcourt crash, extended condolences to the families of the victims. He assured the public of the government's swift response and investigation into the cause of the crash. A key player in this investigation will be the Nigerian Safety Investigation Bureau, the Director General of the agency has an update on this latest crash. They were able to pick out three bodies in the water, but so far they haven't uh, recovered uh, any more. The search and rescue is still ongoing. It's a little late now. Uh, I know uh, the Nigerian Navy dispatched a helicopter that went out there and then I came back to shore because of the weather. So that's really hampered the search and rescue operation uh, this evening. Uh, it'll continue uh, tomorrow morning, I presume. Probably late into the night and then early tomorrow we'll know a bit more uh, what led to this uh, yeah. start our investigation. The NSIB is responsible for conducting thorough and impartial investigations into the aviation accidents in Nigeria. I believe a helicopter crashed in an area where uh, between 50 to 100 meters of water. So we'll have to uh, coordinate with the Nigerian Navy for divers to go in there to recover the flight data they recorded and copy voice recorders. Meanwhile, NMPC Limited expressed deep sorrow over the loss of its staff. The organization pledged to support the ongoing search and rescue operations. With at least seven major plane crashes in the last 10 years, Nigeria's aviation sector remains under scrutiny. The call to the government and regulators has grown even louder on the need to address persistent gaps in the system and ensure air travel is safe and reliable for all passengers. Uloma Oyemachi, TVC News, Abuja. Away from that, leading participants in the past sector have called for Synergy to tackle the recurring challenge of the national grid failure. They spoke at an investigative hearing organized by Nigeria's electricity regulator, uh, regulatory to find a solution to